Alright guys, what is going on? This is Urban Remix here. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you how to get an aimbot for Modern Warfare 2. Now this is working as of the 8th of June, so 2011, so let's get on with it. So first, you want to go to this link that I'm going to put in the description here. So it's Modern Warfare 2 HacksInjector.ra. So you want to download that first, first, first of all. And then, once you've got it, you want to save it somewhere, so I've saved it here. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to open the injector. Now, before we start, this is a hack. So it will come up as a virus, but it is not a virus. Just to say we're the antivirus and let us through because it does work. It's not a virus, but I haven't got one anyway. So what you want to do is you want to, it brings up this injector here. What you want to do is you want to search for the DLL. So mine's here, this one. And what you want to do is you want then want to start on Warfare 2. And once you have, you go down to the targets, processes here and you find modern warfare 2.dat and you click that and then you click inject dll so i'll just get out the modern warfare 2 and i'll show you what to do after that okay so i now have modern warfare 2 running down here so now what i want to do is i want to go to target process and you want to go to you see 2 here i want modern warfare 2 multiplayer dot ex and dot dat you want to click that and then you want to click inject dll then I'll come up with all this text on here and then you just leave it up there, don't close it down because it will just shut down and then you want to open up your Modern Warfare 2 here ok so I'm now in Modern Warfare 2 and I'm going to show how these hacks work ok so I'm just going to hop into a private match just TDM and yeah start game Just to clear up again guys, this hack this hack is not a virus, it will not do anything to your computer, it's perfectly fine, I downloaded it myself. Um and one thing that I've noticed is that if you use it a lot of the time, um people do notice that you've got it on, so I'll just be a bit careful when using it because you can get banned pretty easily on this, so and this does work on alt-i-w.net because that's what alt-i-w-net because that's what I'm using right now so Okay, so let's go with this. Clean deathmatch. Okay, so once you're in the game, to so bring up the hacks, you press. Let's do to bring up the hacks, you press delete, and it will bring up this list of all hacks on the side here. And you've got aimbot. Free for all mode goes to everyone on the game. So if you're in a team game, you don't want to have that on because then you'll be locked into your own team, and that is annoying. Don't know what is, is visible checks is, um, to be honest. And the auto shoot is where you automatically shoot. My advice is that if you have aimbot on, I wouldn't have that on because you're just shooting all over the place and people know that you've. It's kind of even more obvious. Name it shows the name underneath them. And box shows it has a box around the person, so that e makes them easier to see. Distance shows the distance. Turrets, helis, plane, grenade, and pickups. That's all the kind of equi equipment stuff like that. So to turn them on. You just go press the right arrow, yeah that's it, the right arrow and then it should have a 1 and that means that it's on. And then another one down here is no recoil and that one works, I'll just show you this one now. So then you press delete to take the hack menu back down and it just jiggles around a bit for some reason, I don't know why. But most of the time it will not have recoil at all. So, yeah. This is it guys, it's been a remix. See ya.